All right, almost halfway there. So we got number seven. If a coefficient of kinetic friction between the plane and the box in question six, question six, okay, is 0 0.3, what is the work done by the friction on the box? Okay, so first of all, before we start, mention number six. So the coefficient of friction between the plane and the box. So I'm gonna draw the free body diagram we had for this situation first. It was like this, we had an angle of 30. Um, the box was up here, right, two. So we had the normal, we had a force uh, in this direction of 20. We have mg, this way we have mg cosine and then mg sine theta okay so it moved up two meters and i think that's everything we need to know from this one so i'm going to move it out the way okay so this was from problem six so now it says the coefficient of friction between the plane and the box is 0 0.3 so if the box is moving that way friction is in this direction and that's it. So now, now it says, what is the work done by the friction on the box? So again, we have our formula, F dot D cosine theta, okay? Force um, now is gonna be friction, not work. So we're interested in the work done by friction. And that force is gonna be the frictional force, right? We have displacement and then cosine of the angle, which is important. What is the angle between friction, right? The frictional force and displacement. Frictional force is in this direction, right? Displacement is 180 degrees that way because it went from here to here. Okay, so 180 degrees, we got work friction. Um, I'm gonna leave that for now, right? times displacement and this is negative one okay so friction we know the formula is mu kinetic times the normal right okay and then from the free body diagram we know that the sum of forces in the y is going to be the normal is equal to mg cosine which is this one down here right stuff we've been doing so this is gonna be replaced in here. So we got friction, kinetic is mu k, mg cosine theta. Now we're gonna replace that in here. So we got work of friction is equal to this mess right here, mu k, mg cosine of, let's write the angle in, which is 30, and our displacement is two. Oh, and negative one, very important. Okay, so negative one, and that's it. We have the mass, which is two. Let's just put all the numbers in. All right, negative 0 0.3, which was given. The mass of the block is two um, kilograms. We have 9.8 for gravity, cosine of 30, and every and times two. So trusting your calculator, we should get negative 10.2 joules. And if we look, there's actually a typo. So it says 102 joules. And since I got 10.2, I think that they forgot a little period or a little dot between all of them. So simple mistake, but I would definitely ask, but that's too much of a coincidence. So I checked a couple times and it's just a small mistake. So 10.2 joules and negative because friction is opposing motion. So the work would be negative, but it comes from the cosine of 180. All right.